my yellow fondant. I've mixed it with tarlow powder so that it turns into gum paste, sugar paste. I've split it into two. Um, and then I just took a little bit off each one because I'm going to use this for the hands. Um, and now it's time to basically make the banana shape. So I'm just looking for smooth on top, a bit of a column. I'm just going to... Roll out an egg shape. Okay, so next up, I'm going to, I've got this modeling tool, I'm just going to put a hole in the top to get that sort of little brown thing that needs to come out. Just make sure you might need to reshape once you've done it. And then I've got some fondant that I've mixed with um, like a chocolate, look how bad my hands are of all this stuff. Um, I just used a Maricolor chocolate brown. I used that my white fondant. <coughs> Just my leftover bits. Um, and I'm just going to do that little bit at the top of the banana. I mean, that's gonna be too, um, too thick. So I'm just gonna have a little play around with this. I'm happy with how it looks. Um, I'm just gonna um, get some water, fill the hole with some water. And then stick this in. Make sure you save a little bit of this for the eyebrows. Um, and next I'm just gonna roll out, uh, not roll out, I'm just gonna get two little circles um, for the eyes. I'm gonna draw on the eyes, the black part on the eye. Let's get... This is the way that you can work out that they're gonna be um, the same when you flatten it out. Just make sure if these are all roughly the same size as balls, then cool. So I'm just going to stick them on and flatten them on their face. So the rest of the face I'm actually going to colour on uh, with my edible marker once it has um, dried. Uh, I'm going to leave these just to harden for a bit before I sort of wrap around the pyjamas. So I'm going to just uh, add on the pyjamas. So. I'm going to roll out my white quite thinly. I haven't added any Tylo to this. And I'm just going to cut out a thick strip. I just use a mini pizza cutter. Remembering I've got to still put in the mouth and then I'll do it about there. 
doesn't really matter too much about so it didn't even roll it out it still doesn't fit I'm just sort of gonna squish it together break off the bottom sort of tuck it underneath so it's like that so I'm just going to do that again with the other one blue fondant um, which I'm going to use to do the stripes I haven't mixed any tilo with this either so it's just straight fondant just just gonna roll it out and cut out some stripes Okay, so now it's just a matter of cut out my strips is to start sticking it um, around my banana to make sure that you start with your strips so you can imagine I'm going to put some dots right down the center so the center one you've got to imagine is a white stripe so basically you're going to do your two blue ones either side of where you think the center one is and work your way around Yeah, I've done my two stripes in the middle and then I've left I haven't bothered putting any stripes here because I'm going to put arms over there and they will have a stripe so there's no point sort of wasting your time doing stripes all the way around two on the front and two on the back okay, so next up I've just rolled out four balls and sorry my little stand's just broken and then what you want to do is you want to roll it out and I'm just giving you an example and then flatten one side so that you can then attach attach the arm like that I'm probably going to flatten that one out a bit more so now I'm just going to add now it looks a bit ridiculous I'm going to add another stripe onto the arms uh, and then I'm going to roll out a white thin bit for the collar so that's what they look like now I've cut out my two strips for the collar just going to get my knife and I'm just going to sort of chop off that top bit off the blue. Okay, so I've laid this across. I'm just going to basically chop it there and the end to tidy it up. And then I'm going to chop a triangle just like that um, in the middle to look like the collar. So that's what it looks like now. Probably not that even, but anyway. And then I'm just going to put two little white dots being the buttons. Then I'll finish my other guy off. I'm gonna wait for these to dry and then I just need to you know color in the eyes do a mouth eyebrows and write B1 and B2 um, yeah okay so you can see I've put on the B1 I've drawn on the mouth and the eyebrows B2 looks a little bit weird but uh, anyway um, I've also made a number two uh, which I'm just gonna to leave to harden overnight and what I will do with these is probably uh, stick a toothpick on the other side just so that I'll be able to stick it into the cake so I've just rolled out this strip of blue, uh, covered my cake in red, and I've just put my banana up there. I haven't actually stuck it there. I've got some, I've got some um, Smarties, and these are the M&M crispy ones. I think I have to buy some more. Um, anyway, I'm gonna wet around the side and put my blue around. Okay, that is not really a very good job at all. You can see, look, it's all, uh, it's not really the same thickness. Uh, not the best join there. I actually got a bit of red there, but. Um, it's going to have to do. So look, I'm going to stick in my bananas. I also have the these balloons, which I just got from my local cake decor decorating shop, so I just think it can be quite nice. So if it works out, I might stick that up there as well. So I'm just going to stick it all on and spread all my um, things around. Right. I'm actually going to have to go and buy another packet. Um, the m and ones are much better than the Smarties. I've stuck them on. Um, I've got my number two there. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to put this in. Anyway, I'm just going to do a name plaque first down here, um, and then I'll go buy some more Smarties, um, some more m and so that's the end of the cake. Um, you can see I've just used uh, cut out uh, letters, tappets, 
for the two and for the William, I've just rolled up different balls of literally leftover fondant that I had. These up here are um, crispy M&Ms and then the Aldi version of them. Um, and yeah, they're sitting in a ball pit. All done.